Okay, let's do this. Chapter one, observing the sun, hugely important to us humans as we uh, went around the, through our daily lives. And you know, if you if you don't plant stuff, then you got to move over to some other place wherever there's good stuff is growing. Whenever you know, it's kind of tricky. You got to figure out ways to preserve stuff like with Chile or, or with with uh, with uh, you know, eating moldy, moldy milk like cheese and jarring stuff and whatever. You got to figure stuff out so you can make it through these harsh winters. So if you watch sun, it starts to give us some, some predictability. If we watch moon, if you watch stars. And so we're going to get into this here now. Let me show you some uh, photos and then we're going to draw the big picture. Okay, remember that. We're going to come back to it. Here we go. Let's take you around the planetarium. Planetarium. Here we come in. And let's take a look and think about seasons. You're going to know about seasons. You're going to know about uh, equinox, solstice, and all that stuff. And probably your friends don't because you can get away with it in our daily life. I get it. It's fine. What season is that? There's flowers, I'll give you a hint. Things are starting to bloom. Maybe it's not the best picture, I should show more flowers, but there it is. Right? This is very important. Remember this little saying, spring leads into what? You'll find it in the book too. So you'll hear it, read it, it'll stick. Spring leads into summer. You betcha. Uh, spring, spring leads into summer. Woo summer leads into fall. Now, where you live, it may not be that dramatic. Where I live, it isn't that dramatic. But we have some trees like this. Fall. And maybe it's called fall because the leaves fall. But I'll give you another reason why you could call it fall. Or, of course, autumn. And fall or autumn leads into winter. And again, you may not have that dramatic a season. In fact, in fact, this is September 2nd when I'm making this video. You'll notice I'm wearing a hoodie, a sweatshirt. Uh, and yeah, I was even wearing one this last week, the last week of August. It was kind of chilly, but sometimes it's really warm and hot. And I think next week's going to get hot. But it's really hard if you just wake up to look at the weather and you go, what's, what season is it? It can be difficult to, to tell. But if you watch sun, you can know exactly where you are in that seasonal cycle, independent of whether you're having a wet winter or a dry winter or a cold spring or a warm spring or any of that stuff. So how could people know that? Well, they watch sun. So this is setting in San Francisco Bay Area. There's a peak across the bay called Mount Tamalpais. Great hiking and over the hills there's Stinson Beach. And if you, if you go swimming in there, you might get eaten by a great white shark. But um, that's fine. But uh, so you watch it, you watch it, but you gotta watch from the same place, right? And why does this happen? Oh, that, that picture before this, that one? Oh, that's why it happens, right? Oh, that one, the one, try to pause it. Oh, I'm, it's the one before it, oh, that one. The one after, that's why it happens, but you don't know. See, all you know is this. You don't know that other picture. Why? Why didn't our ancestors know it? Because they didn't read chapter four. That's why. Um, we'll figure out why this happens. But right now we're just watching. You could, people can make up stories and the chariot and the god Helios or Ra. Make up stories all day you want. What you watch is what happens. Now people make a lot of money off of other people making up stories and putting them forward as true and saying they're all mystical and this and that. But we figured out a lot. Why does it happen? Because of that, oh. What we're gonna do is track the sky. Now you might not have a fancy instrument like that. Maybe you haven't got metal uh, work going on yet. But we're gonna track the sky. And how high it goes will actually depend on what your latitude is, where you live, how far north or south of the equator, how high it goes. But here's the sun's elevation, December uh, 21st. So we're gonna use the 21st. It might be the 20th, might be the 22nd. We're not going to worry about those details. This is enough. 
and how high it goes, we're not going to worry about that either. That depends on your latitude. You can't figure that out. It's not too hard, and people did. December, the start of winter. Winter leads into spring. Wait, that's fall. Oh, wait, winter leads to spring. Spring leads to summer. Summer starts here and leads to fall. Fall leads to winter, and it goes back and forth. And we're going to draw this. Now, if you watch it, if you want to draw it fancy, like kind of like I did, it's a little harder. So we're going to draw it as a straight line. Uh, this, 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 this is the east side of north, and this is the south side of north. So this would be, you know, it's east, so it's got to be sunrise. And then through the day, you'll notice sun goes up higher and higher. We're going to talk in Chapter 2 a little bit about a.m. and p.m. And then it goes lower and lower. If it's for, if it rises the farthest north side of east, it's going to red line set the farthest north side of west. And then each day it'll change a bit, but each month it'll change quite a bit. And then directly east to directly west, not as high. And then the farthest south side of east, lower, farthest south side of west. And then repeat back and forth here, 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 rise, noon, set. Okay, so we're going to draw that, but we're going to draw it easily. But it's not such a bad thing to sit out and watch sunset, right? Where, whatever you've got a good view of, you could just track it, and you could literally track it once a month, and you would be so aware of it. Um, you could draw this if you, if you wanted to, and that's kind of how we're going to draw it right there. You could pause if you want. So, you know, you can draw it fancy, and if you need a really fancy place, you know, I suggest maybe going to the south of England and go to Stonehenge. And, and then all the alignments, because what? They were trying to figure stuff out. This is, these are huge, by the way. You can do clever things, though, with logs and rolling things and digging things and tilting them. I mean, uh, it's not that huge a problem. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard, but it's, it's totally doable. You can... Any of us, if you get a bunch of friends, could do it and, you know, lemonade to pay them. So you could line these up to watch where sun rises and sets, and you could watch stars, and you could watch planets. And so people around the globe did this here in England, but think about what the Mayans did, and the Incans did, and the Egyptians did, and the blah, 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 and the Chinese did, and so on. So we're watching sun. Here's Mount Tam, roughly west, depending on your perspective, but from here it's roughly west, okay? So if I think about my picture, my eat sandwich, and I imagine facing west, then this would be the north side of west, and this would be the south side of west. Golden Gate Bridge is over there, okay? Notice sun then would be setting because it's roughly west. Now it's setting closer to west. So it's approaching west. It's getting closer to west, day after day or week after week. Now I know that, by looking at that, I know it's one of the equinoxes. That picture was taken on one of the equinoxes, or close to it, because it could be right there or right there, you know, depending on where you are. And then it passes west and it goes to the south side. And then it goes farther to the south side, a lot farther all the way out, a lot farther to the south side, way farther, and way over, let's see, what do I get here? Way over, look how far, there's the Mount Tamalpais, way to the south side. Yeah, you can see that. These are my pictures, so. And it gets all the way over to just about reaching the Golden Gate Bridge, and then it heads back. And it makes a cycle. This is sunset. I have a better view of sunset. I don't have a good view of sunrise. But it will then go backwards and head back. And there's another equinox setting directly west. And that starts a new season. Oh, what season? Well, let's go backwards here. So this is on the south side. No, <laughs> ignore that. I'll talk about that later. Where are we? Look at that. Yeah, okay, here we go. North side, I'm going to see you're going to be in, I can tell you this is summer. A tricky one. Summer leads into fall. Fall 
leads into winter. Winter leads into spring. Start of spring. Spring goes way up, actually, to start summer and back and forth. So we just watch. You can watch any one of them would be adequate, but you might want to watch them all. What sun is in front of changes? And, and this has shifted. And, and then there's retrograde. Oh, no. Don't fear Mercury. Reflect, reconnect, renew. I suggest doing that, you know, maybe every day or it's a good thing. I don't, um, let's see. <laughs> Saturn in retrograde. Ah, people make money off this stuff and some of them actually believe it, but it's been debunked a, a ton. So anyway, we'll talk about that. Uh, let's get out of there. Um, I just want to be real about it. If it, if it works, I'm, I got no problem with it. If it works, it's great. Let's draw this, okay? We're gonna take a look and see what we would see. And then we're gonna draw some of this information. Tilt this a little bit, sorry. So keep in mind, again, that picture, I'm gonna draw it flat so it's easier and I'm gonna label this and we're gonna go through seasons and some cool stuff and you'll get it. Now this is what you would see if you watched it. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna start with the beginning of summer. Now, get back to what I said. Today's September 2nd. It's hard to tell what the what season is, is if you just step outside. Sometimes September 2nd is very warm here, and sometimes it's chilly. Um, so you can't necessarily know by the weather. And what we're gonna look at it are the astronomical starts of the seasons. The start of summer, summer leads into, think about it, just fall, right? Halloween and all that. Fall leads into winter, winter leads into Spring, spring leads into summer, and it repeats. Why? Chapter four. Um, so we're talking about the astronomical starts of these seasons, but but there is something, and people actually do talk about this as a climate seasons. So for me, here in the San Francisco Bay Area, I would say fall is September. So to me, this is fall: September, October, November. Early fall can be nice and warm, beautiful skies and such. But September, I think of, in terms of climate, I think of September, October, November as, uh, and it often, generally, anywhere is thought of as fall climate-wise. Then December, January, February, right? September, October, November, three months. Call it fall. November, December, January winter February wait did I get that wrong December December January February yes I can do this December January February winter leads into February March April May that's spring June July August summer so for climate yeah that's I mean that's how I think of it too. So for me, we just started fall. But we haven't technically started fall from a astronomical, and the two are true, so it's, it's fine. But we're gonna look at, at what happens here and why this happens. And you're gonna really, again, dial into this in chapter four. So let me make sure that you've got that, and you've got a friend. So I'm gonna draw this. Now remember, Again, we want to face, she's going to be facing, so imagine her standing there. This is her ground, and the sky is there. She's going to be facing south. Why do I have an arrow here? You'll see that in chapter four. It's because Earth spins eastward. So we're going to face south, and so I'm going to make a quick little note. So you might draw with me, and or you might make it go fast forward or something south. And now this might be hard for you to see kind of amazes me that they actually make yellow pens, but if you're up close, it's fine. So that says south, and um, I'm going to just outline it so you can see it. We're facing south. 
and we're going to face south to watch sun, moon, planets. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and tell you why. This is witchcraft. Don't burn me at the stake.